Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new Let Us In Home Tour. I have a fun one for you today. I am in Glen Iris and I'm about to take you on a walkthrough of the grand prize in the Royal Melbourne Hospital Home Lottery. If you love designer interiors, sunken lounges, and quite like the idea of moving into a $4.7 million home mortgage free, then stick around. I think you're gonna like this one. is actually set back from that street level. So it has a wonderful sense of privacy as soon as you open the door. This is a Metse home that was a collaborative effort between Webster Architecture, Nathan Burkett Landscaping and Starling by Simone Haig. So not a bad lineup at all. <laughs> Through this door, we have our home office. So this is a very generous study and I was chatting to the architect about this space and he was saying that there was definitely a trend now in people wanting more from their home office. So this technically is the next evolution of that because it's a very flexible space. You've got this very generous work area here, a beautiful shelfie I must mention as well, wonderful styling here, it's ceramic overload. But as you step down, you go into this lower level and it actually reveals this formal sitting area. I love this bench seat, very long, this beautiful fabric upholstery, really striking dark timber. And essentially, this could be a space where you have clients around. You know, it really is quite a flexible working environment, but at the same time, you could also quite happily sit here with your mates and enjoy a few cocktails. Before I get to the bar, I might open these up. My goodness, look at that sunlight. That's beautiful looking out onto the pool. So here is our bar. We've got this really striking Cote d'Azur marble. I love the feeling, like, this is a good moment. You've got this dark mirrored splash back. You've already got a little bar starting to happen here. Vodka with caramel. I'm more of a gin gal. The zoning in this home is really interesting because there's a lot of split levels. So we step down again and we go through into this open facing cloakroom. So you've got more storage here. You've got a hooks for all of your coats and your bag. You've got your door through to your double garage. And then a very generous laundry. It's very simple, it's classic. It's a nice detail with these white vertical skinny tiles, again with this dark cabinetry. But now we start to get to the real energy of the home. I love the feeling in here, this open living kitchen and dining. This is sensational, this double-sided gas fireplace. This is, this is giving off a lot of heat. And I mean, it's winter now, so I'm enjoying this. It might be closer to summer by the time you move into this home. You might not need it, but right now that is absolutely beautiful. I have been waiting to sit in this chair ever since I saw it <laughs> and can report this is a very comfy lounge chair. Okay, and so that would definitely be my seat of choice if I was enjoying a glass of wine here. <laughs> but this has got a lovely feeling in this living room. I like this touch with the artwork. It's quite soft, it's quite minimal. It's just more textural, more than anything else. And to be honest with you, the focal point in these rooms, it's not about artwork necessarily, but it's more about the material choices in this space. You see this marble again underneath that open gas fireplace, but also this. Oh, 
I love this, it's got a great feeling here. I really like this upholstery. So all of the fabric that you see throughout this home, this is all specified by Simone Haig. It's so beautiful. I love the fun pattern in here. This brown and earthy tone works so well with this dark timber dining table. But this is definitely a focal point. So we have this coat de jour marble again. I love this. This feels so, so good. This marble's beautiful because you've got these really bright white tones, but then you have all of these darker gray veins running through it and a few warmer notes as well. It just feels good here. I must admit, it has a great aspect out onto that pool. You're getting the most wonderful reflection and I am obsessed with the color of these cabinets. So this is a really deep, rich navy blue and it's just this full color block wall of cabinetry. You've got integrated fridge and freezer. You've got dual ovens here, which are very fancy Vizook ovens. Don't ask me how you use them, but you can figure that out. <laughs> but it's very fancy and high tech. You've got a coffee machine. You've got a plate warmer. Thanks for coming. And over here, you've actually got your cooktop. And I love these very dramatic dual range hoods with that metal finish. It creates quite a nice moment, quite a dramatic moment as well in the kitchen. This is a nice touch as well with that white skinny vertical tile. We have got more storage. So the pantry and all the storage love continues. Plus you've also got this sink as well. So this is a butler's pantry. So you've got this workstation here, which is hidden away and a very good sized window as well. If that wasn't there, it would be quite dark. So that brings a lot of beautiful light through. So this blue continues and it wraps right around this corner. So we're actually going down again. There are actually four different levels across this ground floor. So through the blue door, we have a very blue, very beautiful powder room. I mean, I love the feeling in here. It's very moody. These tiles are just sensational. It works really well with this kind of dark marbled stone. You've got a hidden toilet here and another beautiful basin, that cylinder again, the arch form of the mirror cabinet. Like it's very playful and it's very energetic and it's just a big tick for me. Okay, through here. We have our master. So this is on another sunken lower level. It is essentially sunk into the pool. So you have this great seating area here, again, with different fabric upholstered as well. But this is quite a moment, being able to sit here and being eyeline with that pool. It's really quite special and it's very, relaxing. I like the way it's set back from the rest of the home. The fabric is continued here in this wonderful bed head as well. So it's very generous, it's very wide. And speaking of generous, guys, the bathroom. I mean, they know what they're doing. This bath is beautiful. It's been a while since I've gotten in a bath, but this, this is making me want to do it. Oh my goodness, this is big. This is like, you could fit three Lucy's in here. I love it. So we've got double vanities here. It's very big. I mean, there's a lot of space in this home. This feels really good. Having the generosity of those double vanities is great. Perfect space to get ready and fix yourself up. I love this too, that's beautiful green ceramic light. So we've got a hidden toilet and we've also got a shower tucked through here as well. I mean, it just feels good. It's huge. You've got this nib here, so you've got space for all of your things. Plus I love that skylight. It really picks up a lot of the blue tones in that gray. It wouldn't be complete without 
your very own walk-in robe. Very generous. You can fit a lot of shoes and a lot of clothes in there. So, we open these doors up. Gosh, it's a beautiful day today. Look at that sun coming through. So you've got yourself a barbecue and outdoor entertaining space as well as a very generous pool. But the house continues. Please head upstairs. There's a wonderful height to these. I love this. You transition into this carpeted area. There's a nice detail here with this timber railing and also this subtle shadow line. So we're upstairs. We transition into a completely new sitting room, which makes three sitting areas in this home. So very generous. Obviously this one is dedicated to upstairs. There's a great entertainment unit there from Ensemble and it's just a fun and playful feeling up here. Opposite here, we also have a study area. So again, very flexible use of space in these open communal zones. So the first of three bedrooms upstairs. I love the playful pop of blues that we saw in the kitchen. I like how they brought that into that bottom cabinetry. All of these bedrooms have very generous en suites, beautiful grey tiles. There's a wonderful tone and texture in here. And the blue, this navy blue again, it works so beautifully against that. And that brushed gun metal as well plays beautifully with those tones. Another bedroom almost mirror images of each other. The good thing about these two bedrooms is that they actually do look out onto that garden. So you've got a wonderful aspect there. And this bedroom as well, of course, it has its own ensuite. Same color palette, very generous, big tick. So this last bedroom, it doesn't have that view out to the garden, but the thing about this room is that it actually is a lot bigger than the others. So the thing that's unique to this space is that it has its own study nook and it has a slightly bigger ensuite. I mean, they're all very generous. And the only other main difference to this is that it has brought in this white vertical tile to contrast against that gray. All right, that was a big one. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right. I think I'm going to head and fall back into my favorite chair. And I want to talk to you in a bit more detail to explain just how you can enter and how you can win this home. So this home is a cool $4.7 million. It comes fully furnished and because it is the grand prize in the Royal Melbourne Hospital Home Lottery, it of course comes with a little something, something extra, just a cheeky $50,000 in gold. Boom. This Glen Iris home is looking for a new owner and if you want it to be all yours, all you have to do is purchase a ticket in the Royal Melbourne Hospital Home Lottery. All of the proceeds do go towards the Royal Melbourne Hospital, so know that with your chance to win, you're also supporting a great cause. Set on a 696 square metre block, the home itself is a generous 454 square metres. It is set back from the street, so it has a wonderful private feeling as soon as you walk through the door. And the ground floor itself is actually split across four different floor levels. And there are three distinct zones. It's all business at the front, quite literally, with that home office, but also formal sitting area. So I love the flexibility of that space and the fact that you can and actually feel like you're turning up to an office every day. It's also very generous and comfortable for friends and to have those social occasions and that 
touch of that bar really is quite fun and playful. And especially with that aspect out onto that pool, it is a wonderful moment and it's great to have that as soon as you walk through the door. Also at the front of the home is the very generous laundry and also that open facing cloakroom as well. But then you actually move into the center of the home and it's the center of the home where it really comes to life. This is very much the hub. So where I am now, sitting in this living, dining and kitchen, it's got a great sense and a wonderful feeling in here. Full height windows, they're just bringing in the most wonderful light. It really is a beautiful aspect, especially looking out onto that pool. That pool itself has a really smart negative edge and because of that fall off, it means that there's no need for pool fencing. So it actually feels quite open. So it really does help to extend that sense of scale and space outside. As well as that, there's a barbecue and outdoor entertaining area. So you really do have this great undercover al fresco space. There's a lot of energy here as well, which I absolutely love. All of the material choices are just sensational. The furniture and all the finishings are really plush and they're well thought out. There are moments where it's quite quiet and there are other moments where it has fun and it really indulges and they're not afraid of pattern and play. This gas fireplace is something else. I love the way it sits on that marble and that marble really is a focal point as well. And I love the way it's continued from that bar in the formal sitting area, right through to the fireplace. And also of course, onto that very generous kitchen island, which is just sensational. I absolutely love that kitchen. I love the way it feels. The materials are so incredibly strong and that blue, cabinetry that is just blue is having a moment and this home really embraces that and it really feels energetic it feels playful it's very modern but it also it's it's subtle enough that you kind of get away with it it's not going too crazy and I think that's what I really love about the playfulness in this home is that it's actually through some of those material choices. And you can see that through the upholstery as well. I really like the brown fun pattern of that long bench seat in the dining space. Sitting there has a great aspect out onto the pool and it really helps to open up this area. It's very much both an entertainer's pad, but it also feels quite cozy and enclosed as well. So it's not too grandiose where it feels too big, but it's open enough that it can accommodate a lot of people. So the zoning changes again as we move further down the house and then we step down another level into that master suite. So the back area of this home is reserved for a far more relaxed atmosphere and it is a wonderful atmosphere in that master suite. It is so generous and I love the way it is sunk into the pool. It has just a very calm sensibility and the fact that you can sit on that very comfortable bench seat and your eye line is looking out onto that pool. There's just something about being around water. I mean, it's a beautiful aspect towards the kitchen, but then to have that next to your bedroom and to wake up to that every morning, that is something else. The master ensuite, sensational, loved everything about it. Of course, I loved the bath. I also love the dramatic touch of the curtains across all of that area. It really created a wonderful dappled light and that just helped to create almost like a spa-like feeling. Double basins, I love a good double vanity. That's a really great touch. It was very generous and I loved again the finishes in there. That gunmetal and those beautiful grey tiles, it just worked really well. The rest of the bedrooms all lived upstairs, so they were separate to the master. Upstairs, of course, there was also that sitting area as well. So that was three very generous sitting areas in this home and also a secondary study space as well upstairs. All of those upstairs bedrooms are very accommodating, all a great size, beautiful cabinetry, all with their own ensuite. Great playful details up there with subtle pops of blue, beautiful fabric and textures. This year's lottery is actually bigger than any before with $7.4 million worth of prizes. And also four lucky winners will receive $50,000 just for buying their tickets early. So I would say no rush, but you might want to rush <laughs> because anyone that actually purchases tickets before midnight, August 19, will automatically go and running to win an additional $50,000.
If you don't take out this grand prize, then do not worry because there is over 15,000 prizes to be won. And I'm not talking like $20 gift vouchers here, guys. I'm talking like epic prizes, BMWs, Range Rovers, luxury holidays, and gold. Lots and lots of gold. You've got to be in it to win it, guys. So hit the link below and good luck. Thanks for watching guys. I'd love to know what you thought of this home tour. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more home tours coming your way.